What's something that's not right about your body, but not serious enough to go to a doctor about? I have a catch in my throat when I breathe if I don't hit that catch I feel like I haven't gotten enough air. This means I take huge, deep breaths all the time. And it gets even worse with exercise. Doc says it ain't asthma, and he can't do anything about it so I just gave up on finding an answer. I have a similar issue, but it's intermittent. I've come to the conclusion that it's worse when I'm feeling anxious. Triggers the constant need to yawn as well. Tinnitus. Sometimes I suddenly hear the void of nothing in one ear, and then sound slowly readjusts over a couple seconds. And sometimes I notice that my eyes don't see objects as the same colors. Weird but not really a problem so we just carry on. I've had a white section of hair since I was like 13. No clue why. It's just a part of my hair that grows without pigment. The rest is dark brown almost black. I believe that's anime protagonist disease. I wish Arp's parents the best. I experience something that's called exploding head syndrome. Something that is much less severe than the name might imply. Basically, sometimes, right as I'm on the edge of sleep, I'll hear a loud auditory hallucination that jolts me back awake. Pretty rare though only happens to me maybe once a month. Both my girlfriend and I have this. It happens to us probably 2-3 times a year. We dated for 6 years before it came up in conversation. We looked it up and it's actually pretty rare. The weirdest part for me is what the noises sound like. They don't sound like anything from this world. And they're so loud. But loud from the inside. If that makes any sense. Always scares the f out of me. Really though, not a problem I would ever see a doctor for. It's one of the most minor inconveniences in my life. I've never seen a more accurate description. A lot of people I've told think it's stuff like crashing or actual explosions. But it's really otherworldly and nearly impossible to explain. I can recount the noises in my head. But if you ask me what they actually sound like I wouldn't be able to put it into words. I have a buffered uvula. Looks like a little upside down heart that's hanging in the back of your mouth. I never had any problems from it. And it definitely wasn't caused by any of the things listed in the article I linked. But there it is. Funny thing is, my twin has a normal uvula. And we're identical twins. I also have this. Unfortunately, mine looks more like balls than an upside down heart. Maybe you were triplets and that's all that's left of him. Silent scream until you die. My sisters are identical twins and they each have one canine tooth, on opposite sides too. Twins are effing weird. Sometimes I'll have one random hair that grows out of my arm that has the consistency of plastic and is almost clear looking. My mom gets it too. It's just one hair. I used to get that on my face. Every month or so it grew out of my chin cheek area. It stopped appearing after a few years, which is good cause it would ditch. I've never heard of anyone else who had this outside of my family. That's crazy. I haven't gotten one of those in a little while but my mom still occasionally gets them as well. I have the same thing. It grows on my wrist and if I pull it out, it comes back in the same spot. Would love to know what this is. Keratin. The follicle cells in that spot in your body are producing keratin in overdrive so it comes out harder than other hairs or has an odd texture. More or less harmless but keep an eye on it in case that patch of skin ever gets docker. Skin mutations have a funny way of becoming cancerous, or even considered precancerous more often than not but if they are caught early they are significantly less likely to cause major problems down the line. My left ear itches a lot. I have a minor issue in my right knee. A third but tiny, nipple under my normal sized right one, which is slightly higher placed than the one on my left, asymmetrical abs and a slightly blurry vision in my left eye, not necessarily wrong, but weird I guess, you should see a doctor about the eye thing, play your cards right and you could come out of this with a fully justifiable monocle, monocles require no justification, this is the way, I like how you just casually throw in the third nipple, well, I had it my entire life, so it's nothing special to me. Honestly, I just want to mention it sometimes. The texture of the skin on my right palm changed after I was sick back in March. Sometimes it's bubbly and really itchy. Sometimes it looks just really tight and glossy and sometimes it's so dry that the skin is cracking up. I can definitely see a difference between the right and the left one. The little roads, 
fingerprints, on the palm, on my right palm aren't as visible anymore. That sounds very much like this hydrotic eczema. I had it when I was pregnant. It sucks. Dude this sounds like what I've been getting lately. I'm pretty sure mine's mostly stress triggered and, well, lots of stress lately lol. I used to have a hedgehog named Velcro. I'd let him run around on my bed. One morning I slid out of bed and got a sharp pain in my left a cheek. I walked to the bathroom and saw that I had a half inch of quill lodged firmly in my haunch. I pulled out what I could and thought I got it all. It wept a few times and eventually healed. It been 20 years. And I still have a scab on my A that falls off once a month. And comes back in a few days. I can feel there's something deep under the skin. But because of the bad angle, there's no way I can take care of it without a dermatologist's help. That would drive me insane. I would have no choice but to see a dermatologist, or an unscrupulous friend with a pocket knife. Honestly I'd take whatever I could get at that point. Now every time I see Velcro, I'm going to think of your A. Thanks. I hate it. I thought you were going to say. I walked to the bathroom and saw that I had a hedgehog lodged firmly in my haunch. There's an indent on my right foot where a horse stepped on it. I never went to a doctor about it and I assume it is in fact broken but it's been almost 20 years. There was a guy who was walking home and felt something hit his head. He assumed it was a falling brick. Years later, he hit his head again and got an x-ray. It revealed a bullet lodged in his skull, stopping just barely short of the brain. The earlier incident must have been a ricochet or a stray shot fired from too far away. The doctors left it as is because adequate scar tissue had already grown around the bullet. Well, Mayo imagine someone accidentally shooting you in the back of the head then you looking around like WTF, and walking off I would definish myself. My hip always hurts, especially in cold weather, but doctors would say to just take a Tylenol and rest. Same but my knees and it happens when the weather changes. Yep, my left knee and left elbow, both had dislocation injuries. I can tell about 2 days before the weather is going to turn to sh. I remember one day I was complaining about my knee aching, and said oh we're gonna have a storm in a few days, and he looked at me like I was crazy, pulled the weather up on his phone and was like this says it's going to be sunny all week. 2 days later a tornado hit our town, I'm like a chubby great value Shakira, these joints don't lie. I had an extra set of wisdom teeth that were hidden in behind that weren't picked up by x-rays. The dentist only found them when doing a routine extraction of my normal wisdom teeth. They were like tiny baby teeth that weren't fully developed. The dentist said that he'd never seen that before. He wasn't a young guy either. I've had 6 or 7 wisdom teeth removed and now another MF is starting to comb me out. Like how wise am I supposed to be? I certainly don't live up to that. Well it sounds like you're voluntarily removing the wisdom from your body. Start leaving them in. When I blow my nose, my left eye bubbles from the corner, like air coming through, freaks me out every time because it feels so weird. The nasal lacrimal duct is what drains your tears from eyes to nose. If you generate enough pressure you can blow air back up it. Fun fact I can inhale this way if I try hard enough lol. I got a concussion early January this year and I still don't feel the same 11 months later. No doctors could do anything about it as it's just post concussion syndrome and it's somewhat common for it to affect people for a year or more after. It's rough. I'm 11 years out from a horrible to be. I coo for a week. Luckily no surgery. And I honestly don't know when I was 100% again. It took at least 5 years. And it was a lot of learning new ways to do things I did very naturally before. My 100% now is probably at least 25% different from what it was. I hope your injury wasn't as bad as mine. I'm 90% certain I have vitiligo but I'm a pale a slav and I can only notice it on my nether regions because it makes a patch of my pubes blonde. I think this summer I should get a tan to confirm this. Do you have access to a black light or woods lamp? I'm pretty pale but I was noticing blotches on my skin that were paler. I thought I just applied sunscreen unevenly on my hands and cheeks. But eventually I went to a doctor and they shined a black light on the affected areas. The areas without pigment stood out significantly compared to my normal skin. Ha. Huh. I'll give it a try thanks. I've got vitiligo in the nether regions as well. Half my pubes are white. Like. Old person hair white. So might just be your slavness. You are my pube brother now, but yeah. I don't know why it's clearly blonde. Maybe it is a mutation after all. 
but some of the vitiligo pictures have the same bleached blonde color if not pure white. It ranges from brown to dirty blonde to blonde. I throw up after I eat eggs. I really like eggs though. Vomiting after consuming something is often a sign of an allergy. Check with the doc on this one. When I was in elementary school I had a pair of blue shoes that I refused to get rid of, so I wore them even though they were a little small, and now my big toes are curved. I have a singular, white eyelash on one of my eyes that grows really quickly and gets so long it'll get in my actual eye, and I need to cut it every couple of months to keep it short. I had a hair like that on my upper arm, would grow like a head hair until I would pinch it off was there for like 5 years then disappeared without a trace, just as I was getting fond of him. His name is Robert Paulson. My collarbone is always sore, to the point that it keeps me up at night. I guess I technically did go to a doctor. I went right after it started hurting and accused me of drug seeking. That was a year and a half ago. I'll just live with it. I had a similar issue that had been bothering me near my sternum for months. My doc recommended magnesium supplements. After about a month of taking them daily I felt normal again. Thanks. I should try this. I would recommend you go to a different doctor and start the appointment with I've been in pain for a year. I'm not interested in drugs and if you try to give them to me I won't take them. I just want to know what's wrong and if there's a way to fix it this is how I was finally diagnosed with scoliosis. I now handle my chronic pain with an anti-inflammatory diet and zero medications. Might be worth looking into for you. Some doctors are effing insane about drug seeking. There's one doctor at a hospital near me who gave me a lecture about the peoids crisis in the US. I don't live in the US. I did, however, have a fist sized bending tumor that I was having surgery for less than a week later. Are you female? My mom was having what she thought was heart murmurs bad enough that her arm would cramp. She told the doctor every time she visited for a couple of years and he basically told her that was silly and she was probably just doing too much. Then she happened to be there with my dad and he mentioned it and the doctor immediately arranged for an EKG and imaging a bunch of other tests. Eventually figured out she has osteophytes in her shoulder that were basically tearing into the underside of her muscles and giving her micro muscle spasms in her shoulder and around her collarbone. Sucks that such things happen but maybe you're just the wrong type of person looking for help. Ep female. I probably just have the vapors or something. My left leg makes cracking sounds when I walk upstairs. My ankles make cracking sounds all the time. But I've never figured out why. It can be when walking upstairs or just waking up in the morning and just moving them but never every time I do a certain thing. My big toes crack consistently with every step. Wakes my son up in the morning. Sneak minus 2. My knee pops all the time. Once I was seeing a physical therapist for knee pain and they commented on the popping and asked if it hurts. I said it doesn't hurt at all. But it's super embarrassing. You know that little flap anchoring your tongue to the bottom of your mouth? Mine's abnormally short so I can't stick my tongue out as far as the average person. Technically it was a doctor who told me I had that in the first place. I hadn't ever noticed it on my own and they were trying to examine my throat for unrelated reasons and were getting annoyed that I wouldn't stick my tongue out farther as instructed. They eventually realized it wasn't just non-compliance and diagnosed the issue, then just kind of put up with a suboptimal throat view. But it's not what I was there for. Plus they said corrective surgery is an option and I've never cared enough to follow up on that, so I'm counting it. Surgery for a tight frenulum is a seriously easy surgery that can be done in the office. If you'd want to, it could be fixed in like 5 minutes. Just in case you've never heard that before. Yeah, corrective surgery is my phrasing and not the doctor's. The exact wording was more like some people with this have it cut so I already assumed it was like you're saying. This is called ankylo glossa if you want to look it up. Unless it interferes with speech. Or breastfeeding. Which isn't applicable to you anymore. Treatment isn't normally recommended. Bold of you to assume that they're not breastfeeding anymore. Tongue tie. My son has this. The nurse told me it was hereditary so I told my husband thanks but then the nurse said I had it too. Lol oops. I have a birth defect in my sternum called pectus excavata maca funnel chest look it up. It's interesting. My sternum is not shaped normal. It caves in creating a funnel in my chest. Since I'm female it's not entirely noticeable but it can be felt. 
and I can hold a puddle of water in it, it does limit the space in my chest cavity so I can feel when something isn't right with my heart more than most and can make my claustrophobia worse, but other than that it doesn't cause many issues. I have looked it up and the procedure to fix it doesn't seem worth it and is usually done for cosmetic reasons so wouldn't be covered by insurance. My penis curves to the side like a boomerang. Boomer wang. I have two uvulas. Every time I see a uvula comment my brain reads it as vulva. I'm a girl if that makes this comment any better. You just can't tell from my username. Actually don't look at my username in relation to this comment. I mean. Does being a dwarf count? I'm technically disabled, and malformed, but there's nothing to be done about it, just living my life really. Skin tags, so many skin tags, how's your blood sugar, this can be a sign of high blood sugar, you might want to get that checked, but, it can also just happen from friction, like where your bra strap rubs, I am getting man boobs but have yet to need a bra, perhaps strangely my blood sugar is normal. I sneeze when I eat chocolate. Just twice and that's it. Sometimes it happens sometimes not. Apparently it's a thing for some people to sneeze when they are turned on. So is it chocolate or something else? I've got what's called choroidal nevus which means I have freckle in on my eyeball. Found out when I finally went to an optometrist after 5 years. For a new prescription. It doesn't and won't affect my eyesight or anything. It's just a little dot you can see when they do a scan. I have a hard time discerning dream from reality since real life is so dreamlike and foggy and dreams are so vivid, have read its dissociation from depression but never really talked to my psych about it. If I eat eggs, I become incredibly sick, to the point where my stomach is in agony, I'm on verge of throwing up and I can't move, I simply just stopped eating eggs and haven't had any issues since, but the weird part is I can eat cake and anything with eggs mixed into it, but not eggs by themselves. Fun fact, eggs that have been baked thoroughly at a high temperature are less likely to cause a reaction than straight up eggs. My kid's allergic and they've got us doing allergy challenges with baked egg in a cake to try and get him over it quicker. My big toe sticks up, out of nowhere, I have to think to push it down. Sometimes have to use other foot, it's from a stroke. I have Raynaud's disease, it's a rare disorder of the blood vessels. Commonly in fingers and toes but also can happen on ears, nose or lips. It causes the blood vessels to narrow when you are cold and can happen if you are stressed. When this happens the blood can't get to the surface of the skin and the affected areas turn white and blue and making them numb. Hurts like heck. No cure. Just have to prevent yourself from getting too cold like wear gloves or have the hand warmers with you. Hello fellow wears gloves in the freezer section of the grocery store person. I am 24, yet I feel like a 90 year old, always tired and groggy and exhausted, I think it's just life, I felt the same way, turns out I was low on vitamin D and had sleep apnea, I'm only 23 and go through that same hell every day, turns out I have B12 and vitamin D deficiency, and I'm depressed obviously, obviously. I'm a little overweight, and I know how to fix this myself. My toenails kept splitting. This was the best thing to ever happen to me. I had at least 8 diagnosed disorders. I took 12 daily medications, costing $40 every day. Canadian prices. I saw about 30 specialists over the last decade, and they were pretty much stumped. About once a month, a toenail would split. For years I just cut it off and moved on. In September, my girlfriend saw this and said, Your toenails shouldn't split that much, or at all. So I looked it up. Expecting it to be a medication side effect, it wasn't. Iron deficiency was a possibility. I ignored it initially because I'm not a woman or vegan. The other things I looked into didn't pan out. So I came back to iron deficiency. Symptoms including, split toenails, cold hands and feet, extreme fatigue, diagnosed in me as idiopathic hypersomnia, maybe osteoporosis, aggravated bipolar disorder, aggravated epilepsy, aggravated chronic pain, blurred vision, headaches, it's all there, I'm slowly reducing my medications in exchange for $0.05 day of iron, I sleep about 8 hours of sleep every night instead of 12 and don't need defying speed to wake up in the morning, I've had to headache since mid-October, normally it would be closer to 30, we have an explanation for osteoporosis so maybe I don't have to be on cancer causing meds for life, my back pain is improving, it's a whole new goddamn world, 
because my toenail split. I have a birth defect, roof of my mouth ain't right. Nobody ever caught it until I was 20. I think my sinuses are weird too because COVID tests are very bad. I don't really have a speech impediment except sometimes my R is W. I'm only horny like once every 5 days. There can be literal weeks that go by where I'm just not into it. Don't even watch porn. I sleep well. Exercise 5-6 times a week. I'm not stressed. And I'm a guy in my late 20s. It's literally ruined relationships for me. There's nothing I can do about it. Doctor says my T levels are normal range. Dude, that's pretty normal. I know a lot of guys like that. It's okay to not want sex. My chest sometimes hurts like a mini heart attack. But only when I get super baked. I assume my doctor will just tell me to quit getting super baked. I have asthma. Yet I can play trumpet in my band better than people older than me. I can just picture a guy having an asthma attack while playing his trumpet and just shoots his asthma pump from the trumpet's bell so he doesn't have to stop playing XD.